Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Yeah, you, you need to stop right there. Uh, it's a fraction under 3,000 euros per thousand liters, which is absolutely brilliant. That should be able to get us everything that we could possibly want as far as uh, solar panels are concerned. Um, if we get close to 80,000 litres that we got with the sunflowers, we're going to be looking at overall from our harvest um, about 240, just, well, 220,000. If we get 80, we had like, right, do I want to, you know what, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to set this one rushing off down this side of the field down here. Uh, 80, we had about 82,000 litres from the other one, and we ended up with 220,000 uh, in total from our sales. It's 82,000. So that was 220,000. That was 2,600. I mean, we're, well, it's only 300 per thousand litres more. I mean, yeah, so we'll be close to a quarter of a million anyway. It'll be close to a quarter of a million. Three times the 80 would be 240,000 if we had exactly that. But we did have slightly over. So it would be close to a quarter of a million that we could end up with from selling these beans straight off the field. Which is pretty cool. I, I quite like this. I, I, I'm, I'm very much on board with having that kind of money. Now I'm going to put you to there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you round like this and I'm going to set the standard hired help going now from this point on just because it's going to be a little bit faster to operate with so we go like that uh, normal AI vehicle off we go there and then H helper J is nearly full brain tank you will start doing straight lines up and down there. You are already doing straight lines up and down here. You have got normal. I did accidentally turn it off there. I didn't mean to. That's fine though. You can keep going. Bring you back there. Off you go again. Okay, yes, yeah, so you'll be fine. And I want is this tractor that I want. I don't want to skip through anymore. We go to you. That combine over there is on 86%. Probably going to do another couple of passes on the field before it fills up completely. But I'm loving the idea of selling these beans straight off the field. Do we have any? We don't have any spare in storage, so we've got none extra that we can run down there. It's just whatever we get off the harvest today. No extras. Now that's at 90%. The other one up the top is nearly full. And let this com we'll stay with this combine here and just let him do his pass down here and then back up. And while he's sort of running back up again, we will empty him out. And then I can run up to the top field and get some stuff off of that one up there. This one down here. There, he's on 94%. He's not quite he's gonna be able to finish this row and then he'll sort of start on the next row so he won't be able to finish this bit in here before he gets filled up completely which is a bit of a shame it would have been better if he could have filled up completely if he could have like cut this out completely but never mind and now i will bring you in around like this spout comes out we follow the combine along and we take off the beans that are busy pouring into the combine. So you'll stop down there like that. He says there. Right, stop there like that. That's good. And take off the 4,000 litres of beans that we got here. And then I can run up to the top field and go and get some up there. And that's making a start on our first trailer load. It's making a start. Helper F is a full grain tank. That'll be the bad boy up at the top. So three solar panels over there so far. I've got two more that we will be putting down. And then I'm going to leave it. I'm not doing more than five solar panels. Like, uh, someone suggested somewhere. I can't remember where I've seen it. Um, 
I don't think it was actually on a comment on one of the videos. But anyway, someone suggested that I shouldn't just stop with five solar panels and that I should put a line all the way to like, get rid of all the trees along that bank that where we started putting those panels and have ten solar panels all the way along. So I would like to hear your feedback on this. Do you think we should have ten lots of solar panels all the way along there or do you think that's possibly a little bit excessive? Do you think maybe we ought not to have 10 lots of solar panels and that far limiting ourselves to five solar panels is actually, you know, we will just leave it at that. The other option, of course, is that we get five lots of solar panels and we get five lots of bees and then we also get a windmill as well. We get a wind turbine. Now, I've not got a wind turbine yet. And I kind of said no, I wasn't going to get a wind turbine because uh, it sort of seems a little bit OP, to be honest. Uh, if we go in here, there, and up through there. So there's the wind turbine. 1,500 an hour is 1 1.2 million. So it's actually not that OP. 820 an hour. It's less than double per hour, but for the 1.2 million investment, it's quite a substantial investment, which makes me kind of think that it's not really worth it. I'll be honest, I, I kind of think in that um, the money versus return on that is, is not really worth it at all, at least not compared to the solar panels that we're buying. And $820 uh, euros per hour that we get... And then less than half that at 1500 but 10 times the financial outlay. Well, it's not quite 10 times. It's about 8 times the financial outlay on the 1.2 million. I think we've got a lot of better things that we can spend 1.2 million on than uh, buying the, big, the, the, the windmill. So I'm thinking maybe we won't get the windmill. But yeah, the, someone did suggest that we just fill the bank up along there and have about 10 solar panels all the way along. And that one, I don't know. I, it may be too much. I don't know if it, you know. Let let me know in the comment section. Is that too much for you? Do you think that's like a little bit too excessive, um, for, you know, the amount of regular income that we would be getting? I'm kind of leaning towards yes. That is a bit too much. I I don't think that we should be sort of spending that quantity of money on it. Now, what I'm thinking here is what I've done up until now is I've put this combine move straight into the smaller field while I've got that combine up there also work on a slightly smaller field and then the two of them together work on the final big field. I'm wondering if I should just put this combine working on that big field there. Um, Get that one with a nice... No. The reason I do it like this is so that I've got two fields ready to harvest, uh, ready to immediately start planting or working one way or another once they're doing. And then while the two combines are working on the very final field, I've still got, I've got a whole load of land that the tractors can get working on. They can be cultivating, they can be spreading fertilizer, doing whatever it is that they need to go and do. Now, what we can do here with this one, let's just get you out to there like that and then We'll do a, we'll cut a line up this side of the field, just here. I'm going to manually do that, and then just turn a little bit like that, and then I'll set it going. Hired help. Uh, yeah, I'm, we're going to want to, we'll spread fertilizer across the field before we do anything else. Then we need to cultivate it, and then after cultivating, we plant, and that also puts a layer of fertilizer in. And we've got, uh, you put two lots of fertilizer in on this one, don't you? So that'll be all of it done. We won't have to go back over and do any afterwards, because we get the fertilizer done uh, prior to starting the planting. Should keep things nice and simple for us. Even Frithgar ought to be able to cope with that. I'll let you get up to the top end, and I'm thinking only a single pass is really needed on the top end of this field as well, and then we can start working from that side over. So I'm just do the kind of usual thing where I nurse it once around the outside edge like this. 
and stop right there and then we turn round this way like this it's a bit steep right here behind us which is a little bit awkward but we can get through there we can make it work it's going to be a bit more difficult with the potato harvesters coming in around this bit but we will be able to do it now i was seriously considering with potato harvesters not doing the self-propelled harvesters but instead trying to do it with trailed potato harvesters but i kind of thought that would actually end up being an um sort of just sadomasochism we, we, we don't really want to be doing that that's um it's a little bit too much self-flagellation for my liking um so I, I i don't think we will do that it, it was just kind of a fleeting idea i had that i dismissed equally as quickly and sort of then thought about what i considered and was filled with immediate horror and self-loathing at the even contemplating the idea so yeah that's that that one's not on the cards sunflowers it appears that we get more sunflowers than we do beans i think beans are actually the lowest yielding one out of all of the crops that we do which does kind of make sense considering the price that you get for it uh, someone did say somewhere that canola is actually out of the non-straw ones the canola the sunflowers and the uh, beans the one that is the most profitable is actually canola um, per hectare there's not a lot in it though for sheer volume canola does win right you get more canola per hectare than you do any of the other crops but this is kind of reflected in the prices that you get for them and the idea is generally that it's all quite balanced but there is a fraction more profit to be made from canola than there is from beans or sunflowers at least as far as i know i could be wrong on this there it might be one of the others but for actual profit per hectare as a you know, for for sheer yield per hectare for tons per hectare of crop that you take off the field canola is the most profitable of the three so if you're looking at not profitable is is the the bulkiest of the three so if you're looking for a protein crop to grow for your pigs then you definitely want to grow canola because you get more of that than you will of the other two um in the same area of land planted so purely for the pigs that's the one you go for uh for profit i think canola also gives you the most amount of money per hectare planted but it's only a tiny tiny fraction like there is very very little in it there's hardly anything in it at all and so yeah you kind of like you don't need to worry about it you absolutely don't need to worry about it in the slightest now if i can get that spout to come out before he actually starts going in there they do have this annoying habit of like if he's harvesting he won't stop if he's not harvesting he will stop i say that's annoying when he's at the end of the row it's good but if he's just about to go into the next row then it's not so good it's, it's generally just quite annoying and irritating um but you know at least it doesn't i i guess sort of overall it, it's a better thing that it does do it rather than it not doing it i think yeah i'm still still i'm in an iron on that one whether it's a good <laughs> a good thing or not I'm, I'm not quite sure um yeah what was i saying oh yeah the the yield so the canola but the difference in actual profit per hectare for canola beans and sunflowers there's practically no difference whatsoever like that there, there is it's such a minuscule amount of difference between them that it's just not worth like even taking into account i did hear somewhere though um that if you really want profit per hectare you want to go potatoes or sugar beet like you get vast quantities per hectare but it's it's tedious it's slow and it requires a lot of investment however you do get a very substantial amount of money coming back from root crops 
considerably more so than you do from the others. If you're just looking at the cereal crops without the specialist equipment, um, then uh, out of the three protein, canola is the best. Uh, if you take into account the straw sales, if you drop the straw and then you package that up and sell it as well, I believe barley is the most profitable one. And I'm not sure which one gives the most bulk, though, whether wheat or barley gives the most bulk per acre. There's not a great deal in it. Um, and also for set for profit of the field, um, wheat and barley are the two most profitable if you sell the straw. If you don't sell the straw, then they're not. They are some of the least, well, not quite the least profitable. Out of all of them, for sheer yield alone, corn is, you know, just inconsequential. It doesn't really have... It's, it's just slap bang right in the middle. But for sheer profit per acre, just for growing the crop and selling it, corn is far and away the biggest loser in the game. You do not make much money selling that. The others make you substantially more money than you will ever get from growing and selling corn. Which I always think is a little bit of a shame because it's quite nice to grow corn just for a profit crop every now and then. Um, even though it is the least and also for some like role play things like with my time lapse series I grow quite a bit of corn in the time lapse series and I grow it not for using for pigs or for silage I grow corn and combine it in order to sell as corn because where the Estancia Lapacho map is set in Paraguay uh, corn is actually quite a big export it's a uh, crop that is grown and harvested quite a bit so that's why I grow it in a series that's why I use that particular crop now I'm just gonna watch the combine for a little bit until we get back down to the other end of the field and then we will go and empty this one out as well so we're on just over halfway full on our trailer we'll easily get one double trailer load that's not gonna be a problem but it does look like we're not going to get even close to the 80,000 that we had for the sunflower. Now, we did have a bit, I think, it was in storage. I can't remember how much. I think it was only like 4,000 litres in storage of sunflowers. It can't have been much more than that. So maybe we had about 78,000 litres of sunflowers off the harvest. Genuinely don't remember right now. No, I was saying we'd go and have a look, but no, there isn't anything we can go and have a look at. There's no way of actually finding out at the moment. Um, the other thing I'm going to want to do in a minute is start spreading fertilizer on some of these fields. I could actually go and do that. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter with that, so I'll leave you this one here. I will unhitch that one. I'll get the fertilizer spinner on this tractor, and we will do the little tiny field. We can just do that one out manually. Um, and then once that combine has turned round, we'll be able to go chasing after it. So it's up there. It's turning round right now. So I'll have time... Oh. But she missed a tiny little strip there. I cannot believe I didn't see that. Oh, well. I'm not going to mess around with that tiny, so I'm not going to bother coming back for it. It's such a minuscule amount that it won't make any difference. So what we will do, though, is uh, we will start cultivating this field in a minute, which means that that minuscule amount up there is going to be just deleted anyway. Right, it's going to be cultivated out of existence. So this tractor here, I'll stop you right there and go to you. Can I get down to the end of the field before that combine does? I should be able to. We're about halfway down. So if I go galloping off down through here and catch up with you before you get to the end... You won't stop. I can unload everything that you've got. And then I can go straight up to the combine at the top. And take off that one as well. There we go. We'll put it into the back trailer this time. Excellent. Right. We managed to catch him. I'll come out there like that. He's going to stop there. 
load up the back trailer here and then I'll go up to the top we'll unload that one and then I can get that tractor with the fertilizer spinner on up to the top field so it's ready to go up there and spread fertilizer on that field up there this one down here I can get the other tractor out here with the cultivator in a minute and we can start working on that one and then this tractor that I've got right here with these trailers once these trailers are full we will take a little trip and we will go and sell these soybeans at a fraction under three thousand euros per thousand liters which is going to give us uh, about 126,000 euros which is going to put us up to a total of about 130,000 that's not too shabby 130 grand We've only got to have, there's only a little tiny bit more that needs to come off the field. And we'll have our fourth solar panel in place, ready to go, making us even more cash every hour. There's another 800 per hour that we'll be having coming in. And yeah, the, the money's just going to keep going up. Now, I just want to have a look in here. How are we doing on the loan? I had an extra 5,000. I borrowed an extra little bit, didn't I? Better pay that back. I did say that I would pay that back as quickly as I could. And then promptly forgot all about it. Let me go up this way and... Right, you are full grain tank. You're not going to be able to get all the way to the end of the field, I don't think, before you've filled up completely. So I will come up here on the inside. Actually, you might get to the end of the field. Well, just in case you don't, yeah, you will. You 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 would have done it. You're on 90% right here, so there wouldn't have been a problem doing that. Uh, I will just take a little bit off of you right there, and then while you turn round, I can turn round. We can take off the rest of that combine load, and then I can jump back. There, we can drive back down to the one down the bottom and get even more grain and get the fertilizer spinner up here so that it can start doing this field up here that won't take very long either come on off we go it's getting up this little slight incline right here this tractor might actually struggle with that i mean he doesn't do too bad this tractor he's, he's reasonably strong but he still struggles a little bit to keep up with the combine in places and we've got some much steeper fields that we will eventually be buying. Although, by that time, I'm hoping that I'll have a much more powerful tractor. So it shouldn't really be any kind of an issue for me. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, how much space have I got left in this trailer in the back? Probably got about 5,000 litres of space left in this back one, I think. That would be my guess. We've got... Yeah... So we need another 10,000 litres to fill everything up here. That one is now empty. I'll run off down to the bottom. We can get a little bit more in there. And then I'm just about ready to take my first trip to the restaurant. It is a restaurant, I think. Yeah. Um, sell that lot. And are we going to actually be able to get a full low, uh, like uh, another solar panel? just with selling these beans off these fields. I don't know, actually. Whoop, steady, steady, steady. Let's just be a little bit careful coming in round there. Right, while I'm waiting for you to get up to the top end of the field, I will take this one up to the top field so that that can start spreading fertilizer up there. And then I'm not gonna start it until the combine up there is finished. And then you'll be able to come down here and spread this small field down here as well. Get that one done. The one thing I am curious about up here is can we actually... Ah, it's finished. Excellent. Right, you stop right there. Can we actually do this field with two passes? Don't think we can. I mean, I'll, I'll come right out here and I will just sort of do a check spread there i think i need to go this way slightly we go half a tractor's width there like that and now right that does go all the way out that might be far enough possibly 
Definitely, maybe. I think is the phrase that we want for that one. That's a definitely, maybe. So let me just start moving you down here. I am going to flick back over to that other, to the uh, tractor that's doing the first. Like, yeah, I don't care about you either. You stop there. Okay. You've gone all the way out to the end. Then you've got to turn round. And it's just that I just want to watch the turn and just see if it's actually going to be able to do this bit as well. And I also want to see if we are going to... I don't think it is. Look, see? It doesn't quite do it. Now, if it doesn't, I'll stop the hired help and I'll move it over into uh, over to that side. There. There is where it reaches. And no. Definitely not. So if I go back this way, I'll get rid of that bit there, and then I'll go over here like this, and I'll do it like that. So you're going to come down the field here, and I'll start spreading from there, and then press H, and right, you're away. Off you go. Uh, you can sit there a minute. Yeah, let's go and empty out that combine. I'll take whatever I can out of the back one. So there, he's completely full now. He's slowed right down and then he stopped. He'll put the spout out. We will fill up the back trailer on here. And then I will probably be able to chase it round and um, start putting stuff into the front trailer. Let's just go underneath you here. So long as I can get 20% out of the tank. That's how that one works with the standard hired help. It won't start moving unless it drops below 80%. Right, it has dropped below 80%. That's good. That's fine. Just fill up whatever we've got left in this trailer. I've got a little bit of space there. Yeah, don't put too much in here. I'm not going to be able to handle it. Okay, there's more room in that trailer than I thought there'd be. Bit at the back then. Oh, there we go. Right, now we're empty. So, 7% left in that. There was a lot more in there than I thought. We've got, well, there's 6,000 litres left in the front trailer then. Um, right, you're fine. You're fine. You over here. We're going to get you down and we're going to start you working on the big field. I'll do a couple passes across the bottom end. Uh, the other combine will do some work up there. Helper D has completed their task. That'll be the fertiliser. So, we've done one field. I'll bring you down in a minute, and you can go and do the second field down here. Should be this one down here. We've not got a huge amount left on there, so then you can spread fertilizer on. I need to get the cultivating started, and then we'll also have planting to go and do as well. So, uh, what order are we going to do everything? What is our order of gameplay going to be? The fertilizer spinner at the top. I'll... Bring that one down a minute. So I'm gonna start. We'll, we'll start off by putting you here. You, you're just gonna go and do two or three passes across that bottom end. That's absolutely fine. I don't need you to do anything else. You up here. I'm just gonna bring you from up here. You, you've done everything you needed to do. You did a brilliant job. I'm very proud of you. Um, absolutely fantastic. Have a promotion, and we will bring you on down this way. We've got two euros left in our bank account and now we have a very generous bank manager and we've got to keep him happy um so in between keeping our bank manager happy so that we can continue to use our overdraft like this we get this one down here i've got the combine down that end of the field he's doing fine i don't need to worry about that one you can come into there well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. And for those of you wondering, the paid promotion notification that came up at the beginning of the video is because in the description down below, you will find a link to Fanatical. I have an affiliation with them. If you use that link, I will earn a small commission on anything that you choose to purchase. But that is all we have got time for. So if you have enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.